Hi everyone, and today we're going to be doing an experiment on stacking liquids. My name is Phil, and you're in my space, but the good thing about all of this is that you can probably get your hands on all of these type of safe materials and try it in your own home, as long as you have a glass container that you can see into and you have a steady hand. Because what we're talking about today is how things either mix or don't mix depending on how dense they are, or their density. And what density is, is the amount of stuff you have crammed into a space. And I suppose the best way to think about that is mass is the amount of stuff that has something in it. And you you cram a lot of stuff into a small space, it's really, really dense. If you have the same amount of stuff in a wider, bigger object, it's less dense. Its volume is bigger, but the amount of stuff that's in it is still the same amount, because density is mass divided by volume. So the amount of stuff that you have crammed into something, if you keep pushing more and more and more stuff into it, it's more dense or heavier in a lot of ways as well. So if we take a very simple experiment, like we get a container here and I get some water and I take that water and I pour it into this and I pour, 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 the water you get from your tap, pour it and sit it inside that. And then you get some vegetable oil from your kitchen, ask your parents or guardians, whoever's looking after you to, to help with this, pour some oil directly into it. Although it mixes, it starts separating and you'll see it bubbling up and coming up to the top. And what's quite nice is you see that separation really, really clearly. And even if we get a spoon and we ding a ling a ling a ling and mix it all up together, and stop, even though there are more bubbles, relatively quickly you can see that already it's starting to separate because the oil is less dense in the water. So what we are going to look at is trying to stack more and more of all of these things together into this container and see how many we can do and then have a look at where things might float in them to compare to what their density is. So what I'm going to start off with is some honey. If you have a container and you might have some honey at home, you want to try and pour this in, but pour it directly into the middle, not so it runs down the side so it sticks. You want to get it directly into the middle. So that's why I said steady hands are important. Oh. And you can see that things that are kind of dense are sometimes a little bit like sticky or viscous, they're thick. They're not runny, they don't flow everywhere really easily. So strength is required. Ah, the, you know, I don't go to the gym, I just squeeze honey bottles. Ah, ah. I'm a honey monster of some kind. Anyway, what we'll see now is that we have a layer of honey down the bottom. Next, something that's quite similar to honey in its look and feel is uh, maple syrup. So we're gonna try and get maple syrup inside. Again, going down very much into the middle and pouring it into so it doesn't run on the sides. Similar kind of color, a little bit darker, but also see how easier it flows in comparison to the honey. You can even see as it moves within the jar, it flows and moves around much easier than the honey does. It's not as thick. You can see it's a little bit darker though and it's starting to sit up on top of the honey. Okay, what else we got? Oh, some washing up liquid, a lovely green color will sit on top of the honey, on top of the maple syrup, and sit right there waiting, because it's less dense than those. We should have lots of this in a house because we're washing our hands all the time, aren't we? Yes, so we're starting to see a separation of the three sections now. We've got honey, we've got maple syrup, and we've got a nice green color there at the top. I'm also gonna add in some water this time in order just for, you know, fun. I'm gonna add in some red food coloring into this because it will look prettier. Mix it around here a little bit. So as I take this in and we try and pour this in now, here we go. Now it's hitting with the soap, so it's sudsing a little bit. That's fine, just go nice and gently. And over time, you'll see that that red layer then is sitting on top of that green layer. Okay, so now we have redness on top of the blueness and the slightly brownness and the slightly yellowness on top of that. And finally, what I'm gonna try is some baby oil. I'm gonna see if I can get that on top. So this baby oil, again, a different kind of oil to the vegetable oil that we used earlier on. Oh, and it smells really nice, but this again is less dense, so it's sitting on top. So we have a stack of liquids. We have honey, then we have maple syrup, then we have soapy water, then we have water, then we have baby oil on top of it. The other thing that we can try is we have different objects that we can try and drop in and see how dense they are in comparison to the liquid, because things will float in liquid comparatively depending on their density. So if you have something that is less dense than water, it will float in water. If you have something that is more dense than water, it will sink in water. So it's about density and the comparison between the two. So if I take something like a metal, like a piece of metal, and I drop this in, where do you think this might 
sit, make a prediction, think about where you've observed this before, if you've seen stuff that's heavy dropping in liquid before, what, where do you think is going to happen if we drop it in, we see we drop it, and, okay, so it sinks, ah, so it's all the way down the bottom, it is in the honey, it is sinking to the, oh, that looks so cool, oh, it's like slow motion, that's awesome, ping pong ball, really not dense, drop it in, sits at the very top. This is what all this experimenting is about. Trying different liquids, maybe putting a little bit of color in, maybe seeing where all this sits. This is a collection of liquids that I've found around in my space. You can try a collection of liquids around in your space, see where they mix together. You don't have to get them in a particular order. They will separate over time. Maybe try something else. What else have you got easy at home? Milk, try this at home yourselves with milk, with your day, send it into us. Where would you think milk should sit with this or other liquids? I'd love to see all the colors you could put together. And the good thing is it looks really pretty. Take a look at rte.ie forward slash learn and send them into us and look, we left this for a little bit and the oil and the water are completely separated now. Really, really nice. Stuff you can try at home. There's no reason why you can't bash this out. Give it a try.